Hey everyone, welcome to Tom's Grill. Uh, tonight we're gonna do some good old chicken drumettes on the Weber kettle. We use a homemade vortex that I made. Let's see how that works out. But uh, anyway, if y'all new to this channel, how about hit that subscribe button, click on that notification bell down there, give me a thumbs up, give me a like. Uh, helps the channel out, it really does. So. We're just going to uh, pour a little bit of olive oil right here on, on some of these here. Get them all mixed up a little bit. I know I should do be doing this in a bowl, but I just don't feel like messing, messing up a whole lot of dishes tonight. My wife won't have to worry about uh, cleaning them up. So anyway, so the seasoning we're gonna put on this all-purpose seasoning by Lewis's Lewis's Barbecue out of Greenville, South Carolina, and he's got a place in Charleston. If you haven't tried his barbecue, you don't know what you miss. You're missing out. It makes it good. Good barbecue. I've been a lot of barbecue in my lifetime. He makes some good barbecue. But it says it's good on everything, so we'll what? Tonight, tonight, we're going to try it on some chicken. tray I'm not thinking but we'll go ahead and get them all on here get no Weber kettle fired up so, until then I'll bring y'all back when we get it going all right everyone got us a little, uh, little chimney full of charcoal we're gonna use the kinkfers today Kinkster's original. Got a couple of these here, uh, B and B fire starters, sure starters, or whatever they're called. Go ahead and lay them, lay them down there like that. Get them in. on there like that. Time to uh, get lit up and everything, and we'll be good to go. Here's what I'm using BB Sure Start. So, back when we get it all lit and ready to go, got a little rain shower coming in. Alright, everyone, I think we got the charcoal about ready to go. Get poured in there. Over here for the side for a minute. I don't need these things here no more. They didn't burn out all the way. Anyway, here's that little vortex thing I made. We're going to see if it works. If not, I'll buy one. Go ahead. Get the charcoal. In this thing, best, best you can get it in there. Pull it in there. Oh, yeah. All right, now go ahead and put the tray on. All right, everybody. There we go. Got my lids open. Got my vent open on the bottom all the way. Got the vent open right here all the way. On the top. So, we'll see how fast she gets up the temperature. Alright, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see that. We're at about three, 300 on this side. I got two, two gauges on this rear. Getting almost 400 on this side. So. 
We'll go ahead and put the wings on it. Alright everybody. Go ahead and get these line wings lined up right here and get them on there. It's hot, I can do that. And this way right here. And that ring. There we go. Go back a little bit and turn them. About 30 minutes, we'll turn them. <coughs> yeah, I'll get about 25 minutes. Let's take a look. Yeah, they, they get in there. Yeah. There one, I just turned them. That's what they're looking like. And a little bit more ways to go. Then we'll start slapping some barbecue sauce. cooled off and I'm all barbecue sauced up. We're we'll gonna go ahead and get them back on the grill. See what we can't get get going on the grill with them. See what kind of flavor we can get out of this. I'll show you the barbecue sauce I use. Sauce I, love. I bought while I was in uh, Greenville the other day. The original barbecue sauce. Good on everything. I can tell you right now, it's good on his barbecue. I can tell you that right now. Alright, everybody. That's what we got. I don't know if y'all can see that. Good old drumettes on charcoal grill using the homemade vortex, which there one, here they are. Until next time, Tom's grilling.